Alex, Switzerland is the place to be for the most prestigious free ski event of the year, the European Free Ski Open. In its sixth year, the event gives ambitious amateurs the chance to test their mettle against the best pros in the world. The organizer has sculpted a creative and challenging slopestyle course and a spectacular 160 meter long half pipe for the men and women to show off their skills. Logs has always been betting on freestyle since 20 years. It's like uh, almost traditional. Um, back in the days uh, when freestyle came up with the snowboarders first, uh, everybody laughed at the guy here in Logs because he was putting up chairlifts, taking down T-bars because snowboarders prefer that. And meanwhile, history has shown that uh, this is the leading resort for freestyle on the continent and they are putting a lot of effort into freestyle. This is one of their key issues here. To be properly prepared, the riders are using a special training ground in this freestyle-related resort. The Freestyle Academy Indoor Base offers a trampoline, foam pit training, and much, much more. The riders are whittled down over two days leading to the final. They will be judged not on speed, but a combination of tricks, amplitude, and overall impression. The pressure is on with the highest prize purse on European soil for the finalists. Sweden's Oscar Sherlin goes 270 onto the first rail and hits the kicker switch, does a 900 tail grab left, follows out with a right-handed 720 nose grab, scores third place. Second goes to Germany's Roy Kittler, first kicker. He hits its switch, rotates a right 1080 with a tail grab. The second, he goes switch again, but this time a left nine with a mute grab added in. And over the final jump, he pulls out a right cork tail grab. Nice run. I'm just so stuck. It's like the best result I've ever got. Just that land my run, everything worked out. And I don't know, I have no more words, man. I'm just happy today. It's crazy. Best day of my life. Switzerland's Elias Ambul is number one. The rocker box is what sets him apart from the rest with a switch lip underflip 540 out. He hits kicker number one with a huge left hand double 1080 mute grab. The second one goes right hand nine reverse mute and over the final kicker a massive switch double 1260 mute grab. Fantastic. It's pretty awesome. I mean it's, uh, it's a big comp and uh, level was pretty high. The course was good. We had a lot of luck with the weather and uh, yeah, I mean it's pretty pretty big for me. All right, let's take a look at this half pipe competition. In the men's event, Byron Wells, the 20 year old Kiwi drops in switch and goes left 1080 with a tail grab off the first wall, straight into an alley-oop flat 540 Japan shift. He's so sick. Then he goes left into a 900 tail grab, and he finishes off a super solid run with a right hand 900 mute grab, taking third place. Second place goes to Matt Margetz from Canada. He won the semifinals earlier on, and now this smooth run brings him up onto the podium spot. Very nice. Check it out. It's awesome to be able to stand on a podium and I've had a pretty good season but a couple unfortunate events at some contests so I'm just really really excited to do well at a contest this year. David Wise, the 20 year old from Reno, Nevada in the USA drops in, left 900 nose grab into an alley-oop flat 360, followed up with a switch left 720 tail grab, maintaining some good speed and right into a 7.20. Wow, what a great run. He finishes it off with a final deciding double cork 1260 mute grab. That was insane. I fell on my first run and that just kind of like rattled my, rattled my head a little bit. So I had to take a moment up top and just really just get myself ready, prepare myself, say, hey, you can do this. You've been doing it all day. And then I, I put it down when it needed to happen and I'm, I couldn't be more stoked. An incredible final with David Wise taking a well-deserved win from Matt Margetts and Byron Wells. Congrats to all of the guys. Oh,